obviously uh, on offense you lose uh, a lot of talented players you you know run first offense with uh, with Todd last last few years and also uh, you know Braden at quarterback kind of a dual threat so um, talk about offensively what are going to be some of the big strengths of this Garrett team here coming up in 2012 um, we have a lot of uh, s uh, seniors on our our uh, line we have actually they're all seniors and our quarterback Noah Follett which you guys might remember him. He's going to be a junior. He's doing pretty good. And um, Brandon Porter, a uh, running back, he's doing well. We also have Drake Landis coming out, and he's going to be another weapon to our offensive, offensive strategy. When you take a look at, uh, obviously, Coach Fricky had a lot of success at Garrett. Great season last year. Uh, but having um, Coach come in from East Noble, talk a little bit about uh, what some of the changes that you see already are going to be and then some of the differences between him and Coach Fricky. Uh, the differences are like, like um, our offensive strategies and they're two different schemes. And it's just, I think it's going to be different because with his um, record at East Noble, like he won a couple state, he was runner up for state and one state. And that was pretty, I don't know. I don't know, it just has me getting, getting goosebumps. As far as uh, he goes, uh, talk about what it means to have a guy like, uh, like him. He's an alumni, alumnus of Garrett. So obviously he's vested in the program. He wants to do well, especially at his alma mater. So knowing that you guys are kind of really all on the same page and working towards the same goal, does that make the transition easier? Uh, I think so. It, he's, uh, it's not like he's joining another team that he doesn't know. Like he went to his, he lives in Garrett. I mean, he spent, his family lives in Garrett. His, like he said, he graduated from Garrett. I think it, the transition made it easier for him, and he's more excited this year. Talk about the defensive side of the ball. What are going to be some of the keys for the Railroaders here in 2012? Uh, we got a lot of skilled backs, which is mostly seniors again. Um, Brandon Porter back at uh, free safety. Drake Landis, DB. Our front line, me and uh, Ricky Colwell. Uh, it's, it's just going to be a different experience. Uh, talk a little bit about um, this offense because you graduate Todd, who was one of the best players in Garrett history. Uh, Braden as well, a solid quarterback. Uh, so how do you go about replacing those positions and uh, what are going to be some of the keys for this offensive unit in 2012? I think Brandon Porter is going to step in and do a real good job. Last year, Todd kind of, he was in the shadows of Todd last year and I think he's going to do a real good job this year because he's a solid player. Noah Follett, he's a good quarterback. He was also in the shadows of Brayden last year. He's a good passer. And then our offensive line's looking pretty strong this year so far. Obviously, you know, one of the big uh, storylines for Garrett is the transition between Coach Fricky and uh, Coach DePew. So with Coach DePew, what are some of the things that you've noticed that you really like about him? And what are some of the changes you guys are going to be making here in 2012? Uh, we get along with him real well. It's uh, We have a fun time with him. He understands us. He gets along with the players well. He progresses the players really good. And probably the hardest transaction is learning the new offensive schemes. That's probably the hardest part. What's the change offensively? What's the scheme change? What did you have with Coach Fricky? And now what are you implementing with, uh, with Depew? Uh, now we're zone blocking. And last year we were down blocking a lot in the triple option. But now we're going to the pistol. And uh, it's just a lot different footwork. That's about it. Uh, with Coach Depew, uh, do you feel like the transition's been easier? Because here's a guy who you know has lived in Garrett, went to Garrett High School, is Kids go to Garrett, fully vested in railroaders all across the board. So it's not like he's coming to a new area or a new school. He knows this place. I feel like that has made the transition a little bit easier. Yeah, I think it does. He understands Garrett people. He's part of Garrett, part of the community. His daughters go there. He's. I think he's just diehard Garrett, and the players really buy into that. Uh, Chris DePew now of the Garrett Railroaders. And Coach, uh, back at the alma mater, uh, after years at East Noble. So what is the uh, transition like for you and for the players? How has that gone so far uh, on the, in terms of practice and getting things uh, up to speed? Well, overall, it's been a fantastic experience so far. Uh, to this point, everything I hoped it would be. I hope the, uh, I hope the other uh, coaches and the players feel the same way. Uh, I'll admit, you know, at first it was really strange. You know, uh, being where I've been at East Noble for so long, I just kept having this feeling like it was just kind of pretend, you know, and in a week or two I'll, go, I'll be going back, you know. And, uh, but after a very little time, uh, you know, I really sunk in. This is it. This is what we're doing. And uh, uh, I couldn't be happier with it right now. Uh, kids have bought into everything we've asked. Uh, 
you know, like any new program, we're going to do things a little different. And, uh, you know, they haven't questioned anything. Uh, they've been 100% in everything we've asked them to do. It's, uh, uh, we're looking forward to this season. For you, is it uh, kind of a, I don't want to say extra pressure, but a sense of pride for you? Because, you know, you, you used to put on the helmet with the G on it, you know, and you don't, they've had so much success, you want it to continue under your reign because, you know, you're, you're fully vested in it. Yeah. Uh, you know, when, when you go home, that's supposed to be your last stop. And uh, not that I ever intended or was really looking to leave East Noble like I did. Uh, you know, I always thought and I really always told my closest friends that uh, the only way I would ever leave would be the perfect situation at Garrett. And it just happened this winter. And, uh, you know, my family and I are very happy uh, about it. We're blessed. But there is there probably is a little bit of added pressure. Uh, but honestly, I think uh, I think we put enough pressure on ourselves. I don't feel like it's going to be anything extra. Maybe you know the, the closest thing to being difficult is uh, you know if you lose a game and you got to look those people in the eye at the grocery store more so than uh, not living in the same community. But the the, the positives that go with that uh, far outweigh that kind of stuff. Being able to see your kids. Uh, uh, you know, see our players driving down the street, saying, "Hey, right there." You know, seeing the kids uh, in church. Uh, you know, we had practice the other night, and uh, my wife and daughter drive by. My drove by my four-year-old, hollered, "Hey, Dad!" out the window. You know, I was never, I never had that before, and uh, you know, I'm home, and it, uh, and I couldn't be happier about it. Well, from a football standpoint, uh, talk about some of the changes uh, from what uh, Coach Fricky did to what you're doing. And also, uh, Braden Moreau, your quarterback, graduated. Todd Fricky, one of the best running backs in Garrett history, graduated. So where are you at as far as retooling the offense? And I know Brandon Porter is a weapon that you guys have. So uh, where are you at offensively and the changes you'll be making? Well, the, the style of offense will be quite different from what the kids have been used to. Uh, we put a lot of effort in this summer to, to uh, getting that figured out. Um, Similar to what we've been doing at East Noble in some ways. Uh, a couple things I was really waiting to do there that uh, I'm, we're going to start here at Garrett. But uh, a quite different style of offense. Uh, obviously, it'll feature a, a running back like Brandon Porter, who's number one on the depth chart coming out of the summer. Uh, Noah Follett looks to be the leading candidate to be our quarterback right now. Uh, he's a junior, uh, six foot one, uh, good size runs well left-handed kid it can throw the ball uh, really intelligent so uh, like any offense you know it's going to revolve around the quarterback but you know this uh, the senior class has uh, we've got 20 or 21 kids coming out that are playing football and I've never had that many at a school twice the size so uh, that usually is a good indicator of a good season so we're hoping that proves to be the case but you know, some other kids uh, a kid named Drake Landis coming out uh, Hadn't played since ninth grade. He's one heck of an athlete. Uh, he's looking to be a two-way starter right now. So uh, he's been a basketball kid that you've maybe seen more. So they're, uh, you know, this senior class. Honestly, I think we could field an entire team with this bunch. They they represent every uh, every position on offense and defense pretty well. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to have them.